Hey there friends, Foster the Canadian here, and we're back in Planet Survival Space Engineers. Now, something happened with the DirectX 11 update, and it's now nighttime on the planet, which is crazy! Look at it! You can see, like, the reflections from all the lights and whatnot. It's really strange. Bizarre, even. But it is nighttime, and that's kind of cool. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this way. But if it is, oh man, that's really cool! A couple of things that I need to get to right off the bat is I installed a new mod, which is the helmet mod, as you can see there. We've got, uh, ooh, actually we have low energy, better fix that. We have the health bar, the health indicator, now on the HUD, as well as a bunch of other stuff. This is crazy dark. Like, this is... I'm not sure if I did something wrong, or let me check the settings real quick. Now the display is definitely fine, uh... I mean, I know I can run DirectX 11, I do it in most games, but, uh, for whatever reason, it made it nighttime here, which is cool. Oh, wait, did the sun move? Did it update? Is that what happened? The sun updated and now it moved? Okay, that's an issue. Uh, I'm gonna get to. Not the sun moving. Actually, there are a lot of issues. This is like a new world now. This is crazy. Kind of scary. Actually, I need to turn on my flashlight. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, we're getting, like, weird, uh... Like, there's some lighting here. I'm not sure if it's from those lights, though. That's the thing. Do I need to, like, go around the world fixing the light? Is that my new goal? To fix the light. Oh, no, it's just I have a very powerful flashlight. That's why the lighting thing was weird. Oh, man, it was no more noticeable like that. But that military escort has been circling around, and I'm worried that it's going to get within a thousand meters very soon here. And you guys may think I'm crazy by saying it's been circling around, but it has! It gets to like 4,000, and then it just starts going up. It, uh oh. Okay, we're good. It gets to 4,000, and I'll see like 4,100, 4,099, 4,098, and then it will start speeding towards the planet. And it's been getting closer every time. So we're gonna need to uh, watch that. Also, this is almost finished, this uh, ship here. We almost got it. I'm gonna see next episode if uh, maybe I can fix the lighting. But in the meantime, I like it. I like it. Oh, look at the helmet, like, reflects everything. It's pretty cool that way. Man. So this is, uh, this is new. Everything seems so much brighter on my hut. Oh, it's just the torch. Okay. Okay, I get it. All right, look, it's gonna turn around. It's gonna get 4,100. That's just gonna turn around. It's gonna do it. Here we go. Is it slowing down? Is it gonna turn? Is it... Don't make me look like a fool, escort. I know what you're doing. You see, now I look crazy. Now, it, now it's trying to make me seem like I'm out of my... Oh, it's slowing down. Right? Is that slowing down? Two, three... Here it goes! It's turning around and it's gonna come right at me. And I'm very worried because where it is right now... Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, it's coming around. It is coming around. Okay, it's speeding up. Oh man. It, it should be okay. We should be fine if it goes there. Everything seems moved. Like the mountains over there seem... No, the mountains are still there. But uh, a lot has changed, just the lights here to guide my way. And that military escort's getting closer. We need to finish this. We need to finish this right now. And uh, I need to get more iron, I think. I need to start building around the ship a little bit. I'm just very worried about that. Well, it does seem like it's going to go by, so we should be fine. If it does get within 1,000 meters, so... Oh, man, I'm not going to be excited for the next time it comes around. All right, I'm going to turn my flashlight on, just because... I feel like it... Yeah, there we go. That's better. It looks cool. I just... I'm a little afraid of how, you know, everything is darker and it's nighttime. And I'm worried that monsters are going to come eat me. Oh, man. Yeah, that thing's not even close to us right now. I thought it'd be, uh... Yeah, it looks like it was going to come right around, right at us. But no, it's just going down there. It might actually get further away than uh, it did last time at its closest orbit. Oh, man. Yeah, all right, let's go get some steel plates then. Let's go, uh, what were we taking apart? What was it, this? Ah, that's what it was, that thing. We don't need that now. We do not need this here. This is completely unnecessary. All right, that's, uh, 1,300. Oh, man, 1,300. Okay, so I think it was a little bit closer, maybe roughly the same distance, but, uh, now we have a bar for it. If it goes below 1300 next roundabout, I'm going to be terrified. Oh man. This feels different doing this at night though, right? Is that just me? Maybe there's a day-night cycle now. You ever, you, 
It even sounds different to me. I'm not sure if they updated the sounds, but it definitely seems different to me. Okay. And... Ooh. Had a little bit of, uh... A little bit of gas coming up on me there. Probably part of the update. Probably part of the update. You burp more now. Okay. Let's finish this up. Then we can go... I don't know. I don't know where we can go now. I'm gonna try to fly up. A little bit. I'm not gonna go out of the atmosphere because that's dangerous, but I am going to fly up and see if, uh... Maybe the lighting gets fixed? I don't know. I, I don't know what to do here. This is weird. This is very weird. Wait a second. Oh, when I have my torch on, it dims the HUD for whatever reason. That's kind of interesting. Alright. Alright, we're good. This will be done. I'll go fly up. And, uh, actually, we are running low on energy. I'm gonna have to deal with that. I feel like I, I'm... I'm more panicked now, like I gotta do things quicker or else everything bad is gonna happen to my life. And that would not be good for me or my life. I value that. I value my life. Okay. Okay, we're gonna be fine though. We are going to be fine, you hear me? Alright. Yes, I see that we are running low on energy. I know that. I'm just, I've gotta get things going quickly here. Don't know why. I just, it, there's more urgency to everything. That, it's... Wow, that went far away before it started to turn around this time. It went very far away. I wonder if that means it's going to have a easier time getting to me. Hopefully not. Alright, let's go see if we can fix it. This guy seems a little more red now than it used to. It used to be more orangey. Looks like it's still orangey over there, but... Uh-oh. What was that? Slight lag for a bit. Okay. I can see the curvature of the planet. And that's not going to come near us. I hope. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Now it's going to. Mountains are bright. Oh, that's my flashlight, right? Yep, that's my flashlight. It's very powerful. Oh, that looks cool though, right? Alright, maybe we'll just, uh... Maybe we'll just hide behind this mountain for now. <laughs> oh, man, that's getting scary. That is getting really scary. Okay. Just gonna... The music is not helping either. Music is not helping. Oh, good gravy. That might get closer than 1,300 meters. Okay. 1,600. That's, uh, it's a little close here. Getting a little close. 14, 13. Yep, yeah, that 12. Oh, boy. 11. Holy crap. Holy crap. No. No. Okay, it's almost in the atmosphere. Oh, that is way too close. That is way too close. I do not like that. And it looks so scary. Look at how bright it is. I don't know why it's doing that. What's with my lighting? Everything seems to be all right. Maybe I'll switch back to DirectX 9 after this. Wait for a patch or something, but, uh, man. Okay. That's terrifying. All of this is terrifying. I'm turning my light back on. Yeah, okay, as if I needed that right now. You need to tell me that there's a meteor storm? Is that necessary, really? Oh yeah, some of the rocks... Look at that. Look at that. Something's wrong with DirectX 11. I don't know what it is. But I kind of uh, like it, at least for this episode. Even if it is wonky looking. Look at that. Look at that. That's wonky. That is gray and wonky. Oh man. Okay. I broke space engineers, but you know what? I'm just going to roll with it. I am just going to roll with it. We're going to get a little bit of iron. And, uh, keep going. Uh, I must have, like, not enabled a setting that I had to. Because everything looks so weird. Oh, good gravy. I like it. Hey, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, Dude, you just didn't do this, or, you know, what you did do was this, and it was wrong. You need to set this setting, or something. Yeah, okay, I get it. But, uh, I know. I know now that I did something wrong. I know it's my fault that the game looks like this, but still, it's pretty cool, right? It's nighttime. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We got a bunch of iron. We have a bunch of steel plates now. We are going to be able to work on things. I was saying in the comment section of uh, the last video, I'm planning on getting the ship ready, like completely operational by the uh, 15th episode. 
So that is the goal. Is this what I'm doing here? Like that? Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's plenty of room. That is plenty of room. Okay, cool. That is what we're going with then. And that military escort's gonna be coming around, so I need to fly. Come on. Come on, me. We need to work faster at this. Oh, good gravy. Doesn't it explain why the sky is different, though. I don't get why that color is different. Even if I did do something weird to the game, I'm still gonna blame everything but myself. Okay. Yeah, it's not gonna be this close next time. Looking at that trajectory. It's gonna be on the other side of the planet. Might be closer on that side. Maybe it'll set up a base and start uh, trying to compete with us, but I don't know why they would because they already have what we are trying to get. A ship. That's what we need, my friends. We need the ship. We need it operational. So I figure I will probably uh, hire this up by, I don't know, one or two more so that I can have that done by next episode as well. And uh, like I said, I'm going to do a lot of the welding in the off time between recording because it just, it takes so long. It takes so long. All right, how close are they going to get? Put your money on it right now. I'm betting 1500 I'm betting 1,500. What do we got? 16. Come on. Come on, 15. Come on, 15. All right, now start going away. Start going away because I want to be right. Oh, I'm not right. Dang it. Yeah, well. So whoever had 1,400, you win nothing but bragging rights. That's still more than I get, at least. Did I do that right? That uh, doesn't look... No, that, that is right. That's right. Okay. Okay, the ship is finally taking shape, though, eh? Just a shame that uh, it happened in the nighttime episode. Oh, the nighttime episode. That's what I will be calling this for years. The fabled nighttime episode when everything was wonky and kind of awesome. I mean, let's be honest, as weird as it is, it's freaking cool, right? Right? Uh, all right. All right, let's, uh, how big an entrance should we have? Like that, maybe? Yeah, that looks, uh, that looks good. I like that it's uniform with the rest of the ship. Well, actually, that might not work out in its favor. We should make it a tiny bit smaller. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. And once that ship starts turning back, we're going to be in trouble. Why does that look weird? That looks weird, right? Probably just because they're not finished blocks and they're on top of each other. Just use that as an excuse. All right. This is the episode of Nighttime and Excuses, and Nighttime Excuses. Should probably not have my jetpack on, I don't know why I did. Ah, oh, it's gonna be turned around! Why is it going further away when it does that now? Man, when it got 700 meters away, I did poop a little. I pooped a tiny bit. And by a tiny bit, I mean, oh, a lot. But for me, that's a tiny bit. For you guys, it would be a lot. Okay! Alright, it's gonna be, yep, it's... Is it not turning around? Oh man, it might have left. No, it turned. It, well. I mean, it's turning around now, but that doesn't mean that it won't be, uh, I don't know. I'm just terrified of it at this point. Yeah, it's not gonna get us. That can't get us. Look at his trajectory. It's gonna be, like, over there. We're gonna be fine. That last one was crazy because it was coming at us. This one looks like it's gonna be going that way. I just don't know why it's going around. Usually they come, then they leave. And they, uh, never turn back. And I like it that way. This way, it's, uh, it's terrifying. Especially because there's no other ships. It's just that one guy. Maybe it's because it's nighttime and I've got, like, space madness or whatever. But, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. I need more steel blocks. How dare you? How dare you tell me what I need? I know what I need. I don't need you telling me. Okay. Let's see here. 143. Yeah, that should be good. That should be good. Well, actually, that will definitely be good. All right. I'm still freaked out. I'm still freaked out by everything. Uh, but the ship is starting to look good. It's it's actually got shape now. Look at that. It looks uh. I don't know. It looks very Greek because of the columns and everything. But that won't be the case in the end. In the end, it will look much more uh, aerodynamic. Even though we... Actually, it kind of does need to be a little aerodynamic, doesn't it? We are in an atmosphere. 1,000? What? 1,000? 900? What? 800? What? What? Hey there! Hi! Okay. Goodbye.
If it wasn't glowing yellow like that, I wouldn't be nearly as terrified. But because it is... <laughs> okay. If it gets us at all, ever, if it turns around 300 episodes from now and kills me, I'm still going to poop myself, even though I saw it coming. And I knew. And didn't prepare. We have that, though. We have our little uh, turret. It will protect us, I think. Oh, man. Oh, oh, why did the music stop abruptly like that? Everything's weird! This episode is weird! Is this a dream? Is this... Hold on. Am I dreaming? Oh man, that's... That's even cooler when you can see, like, the effect of the flashlight! Look at that! Look how cool that is! Oh man! Neat! Alright. Glad I did that. Don't know why I did that, but I'm glad I did. Okay, let's start working on some of the other components of the ship. Let's get that going, just so we have it ready. Okay, so we're going to need, uh, alright, let's go here. What we're going to need, we're going to need the cockpit, definitely. Get rid of that. Alright, uh, we are going to need the, yeah, shut up, I know. We need button panel, probably not. Probably not. Where are the things that are 100% necessary? Because this ship, we're not going to have all the fancy dingles and dangles. We're just going to have what we need. We need a gyroscope. We need uh, probably two, actually. We're going to need a few of the... Where are the things? Where are the generators? Small reactors, there we go. A couple of those. A couple of, uh, actually, small reactors, gyroscope. What else do we need? One more thing. I know it's one more thing. What is it? Well, we need thrusters, but... Uh... All right, let's get some of those going. Probably a lot of those going. And uh, whatever I forgot, I'll do next time. That could probably be useful though, eh? Large reactor, projector, oxygen, don't need that. What do we... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to figure it out next episode. Okay. Okay. Military escort is hiding behind my microphone. I see you now. Just had to lift my head up slightly. Oh man, what a task that was. Oh, you know what? The cockpit's gonna go there. Why did we do that? Ah, we'll fix it. Eventually. In the meantime, let's just uh, keep the thing going here. Alright, so it's gonna be... I'm thinking probably five blocks tall? Let's take a look at that. What that is. That looks good, right? Oh man, actually it needs to be six blocks because we're gonna need to walk under it. You know what? Uh, the walls will be five and then the sixth one will be on top and uh, then we'll be able to even that out. It'll look good. What the hell? Okay, it's going around the underside of the planet. No problem. You can have the, uh, the underbelly of the planet. I'm cool with that. I am 100% okay with that. The, uh, the top here, though, this is, this is my land. This is my land. You don't, you don't get it. I'm very territorial now. Have to be. Have to be after all the incidents that have occurred. Oh, and there have been many. There have been, oh, let's go get that iron. Let's go get the iron. I just don't want to go in the weird hole. Seems weird now. Oh, look at it. It's... I I don't know how to explain how that feels to enter a hole like that. It it seems like I'm entering into some kind of nexus to a different dimension. I don't like it. Actually, I love it. I absolutely love it. Anytime I get a feel like I'm going through into a different dimension or world, I mean, that's why we game, isn't it? That's why we game. But, uh... Yeah. I think that's the thing that binds us all together is, you know, the gamers of the world. We like going into different worlds, different dimensions, exploring different lands, solving different issues that are just not feasible in the world we live in today. No, no, but we carry on and we do it and we succeed at it because we together are strong as gamers and we can conquer the different worlds. We have done so many times for decades now. We've gone through becoming the heroes of all kinds of different civilizations, or sometimes the destroyers. The things that we have lived to see as gamers are astounding. And you see, nighttime's making me get all weird. Why am I weird? Why is this weird? Oh man, space madness. It's kicking in. It's kicking in big time. Why did I just get iron? Probably because that's what we need the most. Okay. Wow, that is not what I went up to nine there. Oh man, okay. Ooh, let's keep this going though. Let's keep this going. We gotta keep building. Where was I? At three? Okay, I was right there. So that thing's gonna turn around again and probably kill us. Oh boy. It's got time to. Come on. 
I've got time to come around maybe one more time before uh, the episode's over. Oh, man. I hope that it just goes away. And next episode, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with everything next episode. This episode is, uh... This is gonna be a weird one. I'm gonna be looking back at this one going like, this is the odd one out for sure. Oh, man. Okay. One of these episodes does not look like the other. You know what? I really don't like that trajectory. <laughs> I really don't like it. I feel like it's gonna come in right over us. Like, not enough to crash, just enough to shoot the crap out of us. If it does shoot. It did get really close without shooting last time, though. Not sure if that is the way it's going to continue. But let's hope. Let's hope it does not want to shoot us. Maybe it wants to be friends. Maybe... Ah, oh, man. First misplace of this. Well, first one that isn't okay. If it just wants to be friends, it should let us know. Maybe we should open uh, our GPS. Where is that? Uh... No, comms, there we go. Broadcast. Um, hey! Wanna be friends? Oh, friends. Alright, there we go. There we go, let's see if it wants to be friends. How creepy would it be if it responded right then? How creepy would it be? I... Okay, shooting at that, oh man. Oh man, okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, it's not gonna get too close, I don't think. Hi! Wait, should I wave? Hey there! Hi! You gonna be good? I think we're good. Yeah, we're bros. We're bros. That... Yeah, he'd never hurt us. We're friends, right? 900 meters away! Chip. Yeah, right? Okay, yeah, cool. We're cool. We cool! Oh, man. That's my cool friend. Alright, we should get more material. What do, uh... Actually, let's take a look at what it's been able to accomplish so far. Building. All right, we have... Really? What are you stuck on? We need cobalt. Okay, I'll go get cobalt then. No problem. I can get cobalt easily. Easily. Ow! Shouldn't have done that. Looked down for a second. All right, we need to get that cobalt. Need to get that cobalt. Okay. Cobalt. Cobalt. Okay, where is it? It should be around here, right? Is this where we got it last time? It might be in our crazy hole that we built. It goes all the way to, uh, all the weird materials. Alright, nickel, uranium, but ba 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 try and read here. Don't see any cobalt here. Yeah, we're gonna have to go in the weird hole. The weird hole. I know we have a nickel hole. I don't know if we have a cobalt hole. I'll look around, though. What's that? What did we dig for here? Magnesium? Is that our magnesium hole? Probably. Yeah? Oh, man. I, I don't know if that's our hole. It's a hole. Ha. <laughs> but it's not our hole. Okay, let's go uh, figure this out. That's our nickel hole. Pretty sure it's just nickel there. Yeah, nickel, iron. Oh, wait, cobalt. I see it. I see it. Where is it, though? 43 there. You know what? We're going to go down the hole. We're going to see what we can get. Just take a peek down here. Oh, the military escort's going to go away. It's going to go away. Look how far it is. Don't turn. Don't turn. Go past 5,000. Go past 5,000. Just past 5,000. No, no. Ah, oh, crap. I'm pretty sure if it goes past 5,000, it would go away completely. But instead, we're just going to have to deal with this impending and in eternal torment until either we die or it does. So, phew, great. Hey, cobalt. Let's go get... Ah, let's go get that cobalt. Let's go get it. Oh, boy. Hey, look, iron. All right, cobalt 34 meters away. Mag magnesium. All right. 25 meters away. Yeah, we dug to cobalt. I knew we dug to cobalt at some point. We had to have. All right. Not bad. Let's go. Ooh, look, there's a lot of it. And it looks very slimy to the touch because I screwed up. Oh, man. How many other YouTubers, though? You got to give me credit. How many other YouTubers would screw up this badly and then just continue with the episode anyway? Oh, uh, Lazy ones, that's who. Okay. Grab that. Is this, uh... Yeah, that's all we can get. I'm worried that the military escort's gonna come back before we can see it, though, and just destroy my world. Okay, come on. Ooh, shiny. Very shiny. Like aluminum foil, or something. Okay, come on. Just get through here. Just, ooh. Got distracted by the shiny magnesium. 
All right, 2,000, 1,000. Come on. Ugh. I'm trying to watch the military escort here. I just need to get out. Ah, I'm stuck. This is my life now. Stuck in a slimy hole. All right. 1,200. Oh, man. Is that going to get within 1,000 again? Probably. It's done that a few times. Quite a few times. Oh, maybe not this time, though. Aha! It is too far away, and I am too stuck in the hole. Maybe it didn't see me. Maybe it was going down here. It's like, this is the time. This is the time I'm going to get him. And then there was no me. And it went, oh, man. I guess he left. All right, let's go look for him. And now it will go away forever. If it actually does go past 5,000 now, I'm going to be quite happy. All right. Come on. Eh. There we go. We're good. Finally got out of the hole. Finally, I wonder if it's my helmet that's actually doing this. Let's uh, take it off for a moment. Nope, it's not the helmet. Not the helmet. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Okay. But, you know, I, I wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure. Let's put that cobalt in here now. Wow. Okay, there we go. Now it's uh, putting things into production. There we go. We need more cobalt. We need more iron, more gold, more silicon wafers. Okay. We can handle that. We can definitely handle that. Alright, and then, uh, you know what? This ship is going to be done probably before episode 15 now. I mean, the goal was episode 15. I was hoping to get it done beforehand, and I think it will. So, I'm not getting the end, end of the episode until I see that either gone, or when it comes around, and yeah, we're good. So in the meantime, in the meantime, we are going to be, I guess, just maintaining things around here. Making sure that everything is up to snuff and uh, working. All right, let's see how much ammo we have left in this guy. See how much we got left. Oh man, that's turning around way too quickly for me. Way too quickly. All right, can we see from here? Can we uh, take a look at what's in? Yeah, three. Ooh, ooh, that's a low amount. That is way too low for my liking. We do have magnesium and uh, whatnot though, so we should be able to fix anything bad. I don't know that trajectory. Huh. Yeah, I think we'll be good. We'll be good. I'll keep the uh, episode going just in case, but... Uh, don't shoot! We just went over that you have very little and you're shooting again. Oh, it's like a bad habit. Look at the moon, though. Why is that bright? That one's not. The outer moon's bright, the inner moon's not. I like that the outer moon's bright, though. Makes it feel a little bit more moon-like. Okay, had my jetpack on, and I was upside down. Huh, yeah, that thing's not going to get anywhere near us. Okay, we should give that ship a name. You guys want to name it? You can name that ship. Name it in the comment section, and uh, give it something kind of... Uh, give it the same name that you would give your rival in the Pokemon games. <laughs> That's what I feel like. I don't like its trajectory... If I can use my words, I don't like the trajectory it's on now. I was fine with it before, but now it's kind of freaking me out. But, uh, yeah, we should be okay, maybe? Alright, 18, 17, 16, okay. It's, it's slowing down a little bit. 15, 14, 13. It might crash on the other side of the planet. Who knows? But nah, it's going away. We're good. I think. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, okay, we're good, and it's, it's going to be fine. Alright, so... Did it turn a little bit there? I felt like it turned a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Until next time, this is Foster the Canadian. It's not going to be nighttime next episode, hopefully. Saying see ya.